Stone Age. The Stone Age is divided into three periods, the Paleolithic, the Mesolithic, and the Neolithic. The Paleolithic is the oldest and longest one out of the three, and it's the first one to have seen the Homo habilis, the first true human species. The Homo habilis were able to craft primitive tools such as chipped stones with a sharp edge, and they were also able to build basic shelters. After the Homo habilis, the Homo erectus appeared, which was the first one to learn to control fire for cooking and defense against large beasts and the cold. Homo erectus was able to walk from Africa into Europe Europe and Asia, making it the first intercontinental human species. He also improved his tool crafting skills, making him able to hunt larger beasts using spears. He often used animals' fur to protect himself from the cold, and he started building huts. After Homo erectus, the Neanderthals appeared, which were the most commonly found extinct human species. They were the first ones to make tools out of bones instead of stones, and they started wearing clothes and making ornaments. They even buried the dead with flowers. Even though they were very advanced, they went extinct, and they were replaced by modern humans. The Homo sapiens. The Homo sapiens is the only remaining human species, as all of the other ones went extinct. So you and I are Homo sapiens. The Paleolithic people formed tribes and used shelters just for the night, since they were still nomadic. During the Mesolithic period, some humans started building camps around rivers, which made them more sedentary. The bow and arrow was invented, being the first long-range weapon, and the refining of tool crafting skills made it possible to craft tools for fishing and boats. The Neolithic period ended the hunter-gatherer lifestyle completely, as they discovered agriculture and developed numerous farming tools. Cattle breeding also began, and sheep, goats, and pigs were domesticated. All of these discoveries caused humans to stay in the same places for longer periods of time, thus enabling them to create villages. Pottery, basketry, weaving, and the wheel appeared. The Stone Age lasted so long that it represents 99% of humans' history. The discovery of metalworking, more specifically the melting and smelting of copper, put an end to the Stone Age, even though some basic forms of metalworking were already known, like the use of gold for ornamentation. 